Asante sana. You saw that first story there about the uh, Deputy President saying that he will name former cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries who allegedly stole more than 24 billion shillings. I mean, isn't the past the past? We, we keep delving on the past. We keep going back. Shouldn't we be moving on? Uh, I think uh, what we can describe as a state of the nation today is we are in hard times. Mm. We have a drought. We have a high cost of living. And uh, there are many things that are coming which I think we need to prioritize what we need to bring as an agenda uh, forward to the nation. But uh, if there is any truthful of what the Deputy President is saying, I wish it will be unearthed so that Kenyans know the truth if it is there. But uh, if it is just uh, another talk um, which has no basis, I think we should not entertain Kenyans. Uh, on talks that are, have no basis. But if there is evidence and there is truthful, Kenyans need their money back mm. if uh, we have any stolen money. But uh, I, I, I just hope that uh, what is being said will have the basis that will test the test of time so that we are not sucked into suckers that we have seen in this country. Scandals are mentioned, but uh, we don't have any logical conclusion. I think if there is something that is being said, let us see a logical conclusion quickly and uh, uh, truthfully. Absolutely. Archbishop, someone who uh, plans to make good their threats is the opposition leader, uh, Raila Odinga, who you know, has threatened to go ahead with mass action. What do you make of that and what it means for the country? Uh, I don't think, and we have said this uh, just before the elections, that Kenyans do not know how to conclude a matter. Mm. And uh, we put the country on an election in mo mode from day one of the elections to the last, uh, you know, to the next day we are going to vote. So um, in my view, I think we should prioritize the lives of Kenyans now who are facing a drought. We have lost a lot of massive livestock in this country. Um, people are hungry. Uh, counties are, are, are still, you know, in a very dire state of, 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 of hunger. The, the rains have not come yet. So I think we need to give Kenyans messages that give them hope and messages that uh, will address the current problem on the table. Uh, and I think the current problem on the table is people's livelihoods and their daily to day lives and food every morning, every evening. Because you are not even talking now about three meals a day. Yeah. If we can afford a meal, a good meal a day, many families, that's what they are crying for. And I think that's where the priority of Kenyans should be targeted at the moment by any leader, including us religious leaders. Absolutely. 